So I just print it out on tracing paper, on laser printer. Now I just blacken with it on toner density. So when I spray it with this became darker, a little bit of it in the right gel. And it's already dried up. It became more uh, darker stencil. So what I do next, I won't darken even more. So for that purpose, I use copy paper. You know, copy paper, what uh, using uh, black one, what using for copyright. So I just take one piece. That's it. I just put on top this one black copy paper, put it here and cover up with some piece of tracing paper as well. With this one. Yeah. And I put some part in order to press it because the pressure to should to be in, in good pressure. So I just close it. So now my setup on only one power, very light power. So and I press start and flash it. It was flashed. Open it up. This one is take away. And my purpose was to make black stencil more darker, more, more black. So and I just remove this one paper I stick sticky on stick on, on the stencil. So So now my stencil, my stencil now even more darker, what is good for flashing. Yeah. So and in the end I a little bit spray it as well with it spray. We are now even more darker. So now what I need to do, that is my stencil which was darkened. That is transparent sheet, foil, so I put up over it and his uh, circle, I need line up the circle, the circle out, this, in order to center it, yeah. Just close it, close it, I said, I I set my power on 5. Yeah. It's power 5. So, setting is done and I just flash it. It's done. Open it up. And separate our sandwich. You see? Now, we have proper uh, rubber part. You see how beautiful it is? Everything done nicely. I just gonna set up on my uh, step st stamp machine, stamp holder. We will see how the outcome will be. So I just adjust my uh, rubber stamp, uh, flash stamp, uh, this one part. So first of all, we do put this one ink stamp inside. And I just open up my new oil flash ink and I just just fill up like this. So and I can do refilling like that as well. Put it inside. And so I'll take our rubber part and put it straight. 
Okay. Making sure that is clicked uh, around plastic. Was clicked. So we wait until it's we even we don't need to wait, we just fill up from the top a little bit. Access we just remove this napkin. So now we can just try our stamp. Because that is new stamp that is a little bit thick. A lot of ink. So that is just a little bit stamping and the ink run out a little bit and uh, and the stamp step there will be not such uh, such in huge color uh, sequence yeah so that is how we will go out uh, that is provided some stencil like that we put the second side okay, by the way put on the side and we just adjust according to the circle Next time. What is this? What is So we can adjust here. So we can have this color. So where is the front front is there? So we just put it inside. Just put it inside. Just a little bit. Yeah. And close down this. So now, now they go down. Now we clean up a little bit. For the purpose, I close my stump. And clean up a little bit. So now we are labeled it. One. And where is the So I can customize this custom like that for company, but I decided to do my brand, not Chinese. And this one as well, I take it off. And I put in front. Like that. So now the stump labeled with my brand and we just do it i can put the logo of company here and there as well so i can completely customize uh, the print uh, machine so how you see ready advocate so When it's uh, the ink a little bit in and out, that it will be more clear. Uh, stamp stamp. So that's it. It's protective cover. It doesn't stamp when it's protective cover. You see, it doesn't stamp. So protective cover. Just protect from the stamping. That's it. This stamp very easy to open up this one and uh, refill this color there. Yeah, there is color. It's very easy to refill. Open up refill and close it and stamp again. Yeah. So that is one.